This is Patrick, the head wrangler at Geocron, here to show you how to upload your ADI ADIF log on the Geocron. Prior to this process, which should only take three steps, you'll need to have this ready to go. First, make sure you're subscribed to the Ham Radio Bundle. The Geocron needs to be showing the Ham Radio Bundle like this, and if it doesn't, you have not yet subscribed. Second, have your username and password ready. That's the one that you set up when you subscribe to the Ham Radio Bundle on our website. A computer connected to the Internet with your ADI or ADIF log ready to drag and drop into a browser window. And your Geocron, of course, needs to be connected with the Internet as well. Okay, let's get started. So go to our homepage at geocron.com and select Account to log in. Once you're logged in, go back to the Account dropdown and select ADIF Upload. In the box on the screen, drag and drop the ADIF file. We can process a maximum of 1,000 contacts to show on the Geocron. Give it a second and then press Submit. This sends it to your Geocron. It might take a minute. Now go to your Geocron and open the Ham Radio Bundle with your remote and find the personal ADIF log. When our server uploads the ADIF log to your Geocron, an on-off slider will appear in the on position. And shortly thereafter, your contact log will appear on the map. You can manipulate the log by time, call signs, and bandwidth, just like the DX spotting menu. And don't forget to press Submit at the bottom for your changes. Now, if you just see icons and no paths on the map connecting you to the contacts, then your ADIF log has the receiver, but not the sender, which is you. The government knows where you are, but we don't, so please refer to your software documentation to make sure that you are shown as the sender in your ADIF log and upload the file again. After that, knock yourself out with way too much information on the map. And after you've shown your local friends all the amateur radio friends you've made around the world, you can turn it off by selecting the on-off slider again.